Y254. Imagine. guys doing i'm hoping you've had a fantastic day now it's time for tea niwa kati wa chai right here on ytf4 it's time for chit chat we do a round of, of stories that have been making headlines throughout the week my name is philin june and of course i have my gang gang right here representing i'm gonna start with the guy next to me Ernest Bantu at ambita kwaje how have we been how are you i'm good i'm good i'm good mm -hmm. Ernest Bantu apa. Tunalia lakini tuko sawa Chelsea imepigwa tatu je wale tunamona yeye tuko poa na just station nyingine inaonyesha tume win lakini DSTV inaonyesha tume lose tunajua ni season ya watu ku lose man you station shida si station shida si me lose me lose kwingine lakini wakiaka KBC KBC Chelsea kona tatu alafu DSTV tumepigwa so that is what it is lakini ni wakati wa chai yes stay tuned mzee Anes Bantu hapa tujue venye rada itakuwa all right and of course we have our very own rapper in the building je 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 ronald royce how are you mzee we are good we are good kuna hesabu nyingine ilikuwa na cha cha kidogo 0.01% but again we are back we are back <laughs> it's sunday kama kawaida mzee just don't go nowhere because we are about to get the party cracking all right now and as always uh, Dennis Bob Miner we miss you so much why he was here alikuwa anasema hivi this is our officially our tagline <laughs> tea room is, is officially, officially open. open now let's sip some tea let's get started with our first story right here and Rwandan authorities have arrested and taken to court a 24 year old woman over indecent dressing after a photo of her in a fishnet Atea at a music concert appeared on social media. If convicted, the young lady faces up to six months in up to uh, six months or two years in prison. On Thursday, a judge at a Kigali primary court declined to grant bail with the prosecution requesting that she be detained for 30 days as investigation continues. The case has been uh, has a, actually rather caused public outrage on social media with many condemning the government for violating women's rights while others argued uh, it is good for women to dress more decently and uh, yeah of course there she is that's the artist she had on at a concert uh, having a time of her life you know and uh, there were consequences after that so i don't know i don't know what you guys think <laughs> 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 Gabe me kosa kazi ama iko tu sawa. I'm going to start with you Ernest. Wewe tuambie unaonaje? Oh, you know what? Wengine hata hawajana stand. Hapo emoji iko kuna kitu lakini by the way watu wanafua my poor. Mimi na support Gava. Mbona utushow body yako, utushow nini? Si dress to decent. So ende jela miaka mbili. Yeah, iko lesson kwa wengine. Ala eh hey, hiyo iko tu poa hata Kenya kwanza inafanyike hapa kuna vitu mm. vingine mademo na dunga hiyo na sasa huyu like seriously anataka attention anataka nini still sema my dress my choice kama wataeleka mnaipeleka na the level <laughs> na hiyo level mmeipeleka hapana kuna vitu tufai kuona mbona baada ya kuonyeshia na vaa to feel good about herself si to feel confident about herself sasa ukivaa hivyo unashinda kwa hao Jua sio ndio ndio kaje tutakuona sio huko ndio ndio nakuona eh zile na sio ndio angalia that is my 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 class why are you looking see if you i don't like that you look the other way hata nionge kama mzazi sasa niko na mtoi wangu apiga raundi hapo tao umetokea umevaa hivyo takataza huyo mtoi yesi angalie atakuwa na kuangalia utaona ni haribia mtoto kwanza sio ndio hina nimefunika mtoi wangu macho hivi atiacha kuangalia acha kuangalia what is that Na how, come, mm. how about where she was? Ilikuwa event na ilikuwa usiku. Event na ni usiku. Uh 
Kani event na ni usiku kuna kwa na madress code nini kwa saa. Lakini hiyo madress my choice mchana tao kwa watu wapana. Hiyo ndo mina kataa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ronald, what's your take? Because, <laughs> okay, vile tu nimesema, ilikuwa event and it was at night. Mm-hmm. Ladies should cover up ama wademu waenda vile wanaendelea. What are you thinking? And two years in prison, is, just, is, that, is that justifiable? We are Africa and Africa is our business. Mm. Do you know even the clothing, the whatever we are putting on right now, were brought by the colonizers. Mm-hmm. So, um, Udem Kutembea or whatever she was putting on, to me, she's right. One, it's because nowadays private parts are not private, they're ah. public. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Moja, <laughs> please. <laughs> I, think, um, I think you've also uh, seen in South Africa, I mm-hmm. think uh, the Zulu, the Zosas. Oh, and yeah, true. You know? There's actually that video making bond in social media. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it's not wrong uh, mm. to wear whatever you want to put on because we have freedom of choice again. So at the end of the day, there's nothing like obscenity. Mm-hmm. And I, I think where we are headed as um, a generation, watch it to Because the more, <laughs> the, the more we hide these parts, the more at a sisi tunanza kukuwa na aja kujua. Nini nime? Let me ask you something. Do you know where we came from? Like when, uh, like in history when we go back mm-hmm. evolution, like when we were from cave people, yes. before sizing was kuja in other <laughs> African society and everything. Do you know people just used to cover uh-huh. like this part pekeake mnatembea ivo? And then we evolved. <laughs> we were like, no, we need to cover up to buy, to tengeneze nguo, to jifunike. Decent. And now you, have, you want to go back to, evol- to where you came from. Back uh, to the... Exactly. Do you know, uh, I remember those days, okay, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't there, but this is what used to happen. Because um, we were maybe Shemeji. So when the Shemeji was coming this side, uh, the, the, the thing was hanging here. Mm-hmm. So it, it was um, uh, a skin that was uh, cut in a size in his feet, right? Yeah. So Shemeji akikujivi, I'm sorry to bring in a Shema, but it's supposed to be Shemeji or Shemeji, I don't know. Yeah. So when he or she is coming this way, akipita isa hidi tabidu endange, okay? Oh, uh, kizunguka. Kizunguka mpaka sasa <laughs> attend and then oh, and then. <laughs> do, you know, do, you know why, do you know why that happened? Because yeah. atukuwa wengi. So unawana uneza fanya hivu. Sasa hii kuna mashemeji wangati kwa barabara. How will you be over here? Unawana uneza hivu. Like say, how will you be Ama hizi geto zetu unawana venyo wa sawa mikro. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. How long will you be? Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. Kutakuna zunguka. zunguka. The same thing. But fill in again. South Africa, this thing is not illegal. It's very legal. Yeah, they're still actually not 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 in Joburg though like uh-huh. some parts of South Africa uko but sikuna pia in Kenya there are some places uko exactly, yeah. very marginalized communities kuna wenye wanaishi hivyo okay like in India but it's not it's not wrong it's wrong <laughs> but it's their way it's their lifestyle you exactly. know adopt the same <laughs> okay yeah, yeah, i have a question unajua mm-hmm. hizi vitu zinafanyika anga very different unakuta sasa ni made made wana bebongwa wana Mm-hmm. Na wajui, like kuna wanagata kwa ngoma, dema kwa half naked, mwenye ngoma ni mwanaume, amepiga luku yake fresh, yara huna party na onekana, amepiga luku yake fresh, yara huna party na onekana, amepiga pull neck, hadi macho wameika macho ine, yani ya huna party naona, huu kwa pale half naked, why do they do that? Why do you do that? Why do you ask, wuzi jiuliza kwanza, huu jama tunazungushia haga, ni party yake gari na onekana. Ok, atuonge Ivo kwa show, please, like, find your language, kindly. Ok, sorry, atusiku kuzungusha, huu jama unafanya Ivo vitu nadu. Mm-hmm. As in, unajua madem ndo ubebwa wana, most of the cases. Miss jaona mali mwanaume ya kwa hivyo. But, that's why you guys go there and watch the videos. Exactly. Na mna, but, wanapata views. Yes. Because people have learned, mwanaume ya akivua nguo kwa video utaona? Utaona nini? Just be honest. <laughs> Will you go watch that video? Dato wa teke, edo wana wake na toanga. So, that's a, <laughs> men have realized like when women are sexy and everything, the video sells. No, like, the, the maybe, is, probably. The thing is, it's That's good that you brought that topic. Mm. Um, men are never sexy. 
women have got that, <laughs> that sexy body, you know? They look nice, they look... You know what? It's 7 p.m. and this is just getting out of hand. There's no way to control this. So I think we're going to have to move on to the next story. But you can talk to us. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as Y254. We have posts. Go comment below. Let us know where you're watching from and your various contributions to topics we are talking about today. The hashtag is Chit Chat. At Feeling June, at Ernest Bantu, and of yeah. course at Ronald Royce. Yes. Now we move into another story and businessman earlier this week, uh, a businessman rather earlier this week took to Twitter to report that a border border rider who works out of the Nairobi CBD near city market went missing after he fled with two million dollars he was supposed to deliver in East Lee. Now the complainant Ward Nyandare has asked citizens, uh, um, to uh, netizens rather, to help him search for the border rider and there is actually a reward of 500,000 for anyone who has information that may lead to the arrest of Dennis Nyamongo. All right, um, we have just screenshots of the uh, whole thing where he posted and everything. However, Kenyans on Twitter had mixed reactions over the said incidences, where in the said incident rather, with some wondering why anyone would have such a huge sum of money in cash while some advocated for his arrest while pushing the hashtag arrest the uh the, the hashtag rather rider steals two million all right so what are we thinking first of all the guy who tweeted alisema that was uh two million dollars <coughs> you know mm. that's uh, around 230 or my 230 230 million, 230 million kenyan shillings mm. so kuna ngino Probably 200 million in Kenya, not 200, 200, um, I think it 200 was million It USD. was 200,000 dollars uh, $200, to right? make it 200 million. Yeah, because that would be like, no, maybe even just 2,000 dollars. Or maybe, like, I don't <laughs> <No>. know. Because... <laughs> 200 million. Una no. trust him to the 200 million. Ah, ngoja kwanza feel in. This uh, is a boda boda guy. Eh? Uh -huh. Una tuma na 200 million. <laughs> Do, are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> in his defense, I met him in Boda for over five years. Like, you know, the Kunatum stage in Omjuanga. We came in as my ah, we are in Chelsea. We are in a big Chelsea. We are in a big Chelsea. Like, we are in a trust for years. So, we are in a big Chelsea. We are in a big And then that one day. How much are you paying this guy if you're sending him with the 200 million? That was my question. I could fuck with you, I'm a two million. Exactly, that is the question. I think, like, you know, it's, it was wrapped in a way that he's not supposed to know it's money. Uh, but so maybe he got curious. No, he's been, this guy has been sending this guy for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So this means this guy has been knowing where he's being sent. I'll call him to bank, I'm going to call him to deposit. What is the story? He could be place a shara, so maybe I'll call him to call him to call him. And then the guy will, like, maybe go for the delivery. Or I'll call him to call him to call him. Maybe delivery had already been made, so they were making payment. Okay, my question is, uh, on normal circumstances, banks, maybe businesses or these, they always pick up the security um, companies. Right. Yes, and then that company. Two hundred million is a joke. I don't know how to make it i <laughs> 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 I can change. <laughs> <laughs> what does getting a person is a bunny at I'm serious. Like, I change in a way that I know, like, every time we can pick here and on a camera, we can take a look at it. Like, any, 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 any
Hadi plans alikuwa na azo hafanyi. Unajua unafanya ringo tu sabi ya minus. Yeah, Sai, yeah. Unu ita kula ni mm -hmm. deliveries tu. You mm -hmm. just like. By the time una kuja. When the, your senses are coming back. Out of that 5 million. Imebaki 600. Ime baki 5k. Problem ni. Ukishika hile pesa umezoea. Unajua kila mdu wako na. Kiwango enya mezoea. Kesha ni kwa kiwango ya pesa. Kuna mdu wakishika sombili ya meshika domobu. Kuna mdu wakishika dao tano. Wakona pisa mingi. Yani inenda hivu watu fanani. Sabu kizoea hile pesa umezoea. Wewe sasa ndo unaongele shanga hiyo pesa. Leo mina dafu. Lakini ukishike hile pesa ujazoea. Hiyo sasa ni the other way round. Pesa ndo inakuambia. Buda kwa ni ujiku kuna kuanga na cost. Mumasa inakuanga na umika hapa. Unesuke ni ume hanga gemo. Hile ena cost. Kano unakaa hivi. Pesa ni inakuambia. Buda bado ni komita. Unajua umita ni ngati. Mingi mingi. Unasikia nga Hell's Gate. Ujai fika huko Buda. Amuka. Amuka wana. Unaenda. Una ipesa inakuambia. Na hizi luku zako Buda. Zina kuanga imbo. Ujai enda kumbuka ya tumwebe elfu ishirini. Buda. Banya maheno. Uneza pesa nina kuangeleza. By the time uta wasa kuangeleza yo pesa uta kumeba kina zombili. Ya. Ile umezoa. Ya. Ile umezoa. Ya. Ile umezoa. Ndo sasa uta wasa kuangeleza yo pesa. Pesa uangeleza mtu. I don't know, like, it's an honest uh, question, like, mimi naeza tutaka kujua, nini na happening kushika doja ishika? People go crazy. Yeah. Watu wana kuwa wakali. Saizu ndo utakani kuwana mtu yote, juu, unajua ni kama unataka uibiwa? Anda kukuomba? Kila mna wana kukuomba. Kila mna wana kukuomba. Kila mna wana kukuomba. Like, it's so weird. Asa wana kukuomba getu, wase wana tembi angaka wana gongana gongana, unawana? Una gongana mkidogo. Kwa sote, hata mkigongana, unajua. Ya, ya, una kitu. Una gongana kukuomba sana. Lakini uzo, sayo ni mesika tu, hata ka 10k tu, kakwa hapa, hama 5k. Eh, ukini gonga hiyo side ni haza, wee. Oh, yeah. Kwa hivyo, 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 kwa Wendu wendu wambia wezi wanze ni kona do. Wendu wambia. By the way, do kia wasuspicia. Wendu kwa wakati normal. Kia kia wasuspicia zuna simanga. Wone juu ni kia tembe angi. Una change working style. Ukingia kwa matatu na kanga very innocent. Kau kwa na pesa, hata kau janunua nini. Manzi unazatu kushaini. Kuna venye unaglow tu, unajua. Pesa tu, unazatu pesa. Hata yu pesa ujatumia lakini. Kuna venye. Kuna vina unagloga nyo kwa hivyo. Kuna hivyo hatu. Kuna hivyo hivyo hivyo. 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 Unapatanga watu wapu unambea kila mtu pewa nyama. Una nwe angafi? Ha wacha madharau. Kula nyama kilo moja. Nini? 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 Aya, wesi mama anesu natoshana aja ya mpange kreti venye ya natoshana. Aya, mungina nektivu hivu. Unaza kupange watu sasa venye. Unatumia ipesa. Kwa na mwaka kiburi. But, na sasa kwa story sasa hainyo tukonayo. Inafaa song au masos. Usi trust mtu na pesa mingi but what work on our pesa just like that we saw a case we let them live for 100 million people actually have money in their houses I was just like who has 400 million just lying there kwa wa sa wanyo wana do kwa wa wana do ni watu wengi ya wana do ni watu wengi wana umia uku inje so kishika hiyo do usidhani ni kenya mzima yiko na do ni wangu wana do watu wana do na watu uku inje wana tawa sa hivyo nyo nakam tawa sa meja hawa doro wanafuta pesa kuna wana wanafuta starea ya hapa inje hana dj ya reno kumixia lakini bado after all atauliza pesa kila kitu ni do wangu wana hacha tu 400 million wangu wana hacha pesa kama ya mingi wangu wana 200 million for real hata surely Judas kwa Bible wako angalia pesa hivi ya kaacha. Kwa hivyo nadega ni yaacha yaji nazika kwa Bible. Zilikuwa? 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 Back in the day, that was a lot of money. Zilikuwa kama 30 million? Zilikuwa 300 million. Zilikuwa 300 million? Zilikuwa 300 million. 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 Zilik
hujisikia kishikwa unapewa ukimpeana unapeana 5 unapatiwa 500000 ah ya pesa kidogo watu 200 kidogo kidogo unanipea atopa geto si tunatulifunzwa sasa wageto wote wanajua nakwambia tuliambiwa ukiona dirisha yote mpika nayo penya utaonya dirisha uweze kujiba ah nini ana speak na sisi on different versions. Nini hakuna unaona sasa hili kiokota milioni hapo kwa baru. Nichukue nipeleke police station. Hao wema karao watanipiga. Wananipiga like for it. What the fuck? Hapo ni una shida eh. Wananipiga ni yake ndani na wachupa hiyo. Juu ni ngombe. Watu wanaenda pesa na leo pesa hapa. Like for it, unaona? Ana Mungu alimwongelesa. Pita, unaona Pita naye alafu ambia Mungu I'm sorry, tena toa fungu la 10. Hapo tena tena 10% to jamaa chukue tena kupeleka 10% kwa church, unaona? Eh. Ona jumu sasa hii ndio kwa Yesu. We move. We move. Let's move to another story. Now, Steve Boy, Simple Boy's alleged fiance who goes by Miss Steve Simple Boy on Instagram now. I took to Instagram to pour praises on the musician. G got emotional while reflecting on how perfect of a man Steve Simple Boy is. What a saying she has never been treated better in any of her relationships and she can't wait for the big day to get here. We have a video. Let's have a look. Um Um, let me just go straight to the point. Ashkuru Mungu ko kufika right now. I know it's not easy, and uh, I really thank God for everything. And right now, I do believe in love because love is not all about money, and my man has showed it to me. I really can't wait our big day which is very soon from now. Yeah, I'm really happy. And I'm really proud how my man respects me so much. He took care of me. Like it has never happened before. I'm really I'm really, I'm really happy, yeah, and I thank God for him. I thank God for everything. As we wait for our new day, our new beginning of our life, of our relationship. Oh, isn't love a beautiful thing? I mean, how cute is that? Like he's the best man she's ever met. She's so in love. He's a good man. What are you guys thinking? Oh, she lili waivo. Mama Chelsea she lili. Kusema. Bro, ni ni liangu kia, ni liangu kia kukupata, bro. Ni 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 lili waivo. Ah, like you say in private, bila watu na mbia watu. Bro, ni hazi yangu. We have stories. Zama geto, we have stories. We have stories to tell. Ah, no, no. We have stories. I'm gonna see your TikTok. No, I get more than you guy get. Ule manaume si guy understand. Ule manaume as man handsome. Awa juu ni mapenzi. Oh, you must have passed or passed. Hey, I want to treat my dem bad. Don't you know you're still going to go the same line? You go to a pub. No, no. Ah, but why did you say that? You know, you see, food to go there, no. Ah, see, see, go there. Ah, who's this era? Joana Sura. Skia. Bora ya mtu anauza sera. Bora ya mtu anauza sera. Na hii unajua as in najaribu kusema hivi sometimes watu wanajaji watu na the outer part of mtu lakini kuna venye mtu wako poa vindani kushinda venye unamuona. Sasa una mtu cast hivyo unaweza mjudge ama kuna mademu wengi wanamjudge na outer look alafu unaona kuna demu mwenye ako naweza mwenye anamjua the inner part anasema Mm. Uu mtu akupoa ako hivi mpaka azin wewe uko na mse ansam kwa nyumba unashindwa na hii ansam ngombe yangu mimi ndo na ile yanga huyu mtu mbona azibana mbona azibadi anafanya sasa 
wale wase wanaona wako sawa nini anawapea challenge unaona so mm -hmm. jua mtu jua mtu bana acha ni kwambie kitu moja feeling mm. love uh, love knows no money okay. love only knows character but then love knows character development unaona mm. the same tears she's shedding right now are the same tears she's going to shed in the coming days ah. Yes. So unataka kusema wataacha na Ah ya 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 hu my friend sisi tumeliliwa <laughs> Ah so hii si kama ati ile ya roho safi Ni vile tu ama ex ama zino current wako aliko hapa kutuambia at wewe nimeliliwa wewe nimeambiwa Si hata na evidence ya Steve Ot kwa na evidence yako evidence kwa wapi Iko 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 kwa roho Yangu kwa roho But give me a Hakuna boy wa ghetto ajaliliwa Eh. Kwajit. Mhm. Mm eh naye kwambia Juliani analeta ugeto. Unaangalia wewe mtopizo unaona anakaa mtu wa kibombe na akona pesa. Akina anzi ni penye ni grow ina still in you. Hata ukinipea milioni ngapi? Where I come from? It's still in me. Feeling sasa hii ndio ile wanasema anga unaweza toa mtu ndani ya gunia lakini kutoa ugunia ndani yake. Ugunia ndani yake unaweza toa. Ni hiyo sasa. Sasa unaona sasa kama wase wa ghetto wote mimi najua juu nimekuwa nime grow ghetto. Mzee hizi vitu tumeliliwa bana. Tumeliliwa sana mzee. Najua. Oh, okay, let me ask you. Let's, let's look about this. Um, uh, look at this story in a different angle. Mm -hmm. To assume usi demi a simple boy mm -hmm. and probably anatoa ngoma. Sasa mtasema aje? Okay, tutasema at first walikuwa in love. So you love uisha. Mm -hmm. Love si kitu tena inakaanga. Kuna zile zinakaa na love squeeze ni kama kuna duration. Sometimes kuna mtu mnapendana leo kesho anaanza kuboeka na wewe na boeka na wewe. Ujaiona ule mtu mlikuwa ulali juu yake mnalala mnechat. Sasa hii anasema hiyo kingombe. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 my take is this. Ronald, what if ni kiki na wako na ngoma utapata wewe ndo vixen kwa ngoma yake? I think it's scripted. Uh -huh. The first day ilikuwa ni proposal. Unaweza kumbuka there was a clip ya proposal with uh -huh. the same chick. Uh -huh. Ilikuwa ngoma, right? Uh -huh. Now she's come again. So inaonekana now they in that relationship say imenoga until oh sivo si uh, sivo ni mpoa he is the best man you know and then now there is the last part sina kwa kana intro amesema she can't wait to become the wife the wedding bells i see you know you do my bye and that go on so many do my bye wedding coming i mean there is a wedding coming yeah. no, 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 we just what is i talking about what is be positive that say? love it exists <laughs> what if yeah. what if ningoma that's what i'm telling you unajua in a story kuna kwa kana intro kuna body na kuna outro, outro uh -huh. exactly uh -huh. so hapa tushajua aliana ka propose now they are in love right now right and then now wakiachana atarudi the same way akilia akilia to the same way eh, si was a bad man hiyo tin ngoma tena utakuwa <laughs> so ujue hii ni kiki so sasa sasa sema ni mzuri atarudi kusema he's bad yeah, sasa <laughs> ali ni play oh, na pretty fish ama aliana kwa uda mono you know sasa hapo ndo story zitaanza I don't have anything to add yeah, on that. Before in G, me na ku success. I know right? Yeah. But he's so nice. Like every time like interact with him, he's like super super humble. Nice. No, he's nice. He's humble. There's niceness and then there's humbleness. He fears God. He has that fear of God. What I left fear to ya. I'm a fear of God. Honest in him. It's the beginning of wisdom. You are watching Chit Chat right here on White Fever Food TV. We're going to take a breather. A very very short break. We're coming back with more. Stay with us. Y254 image Y254 imagine 
right, thank you so much for staying with us. You are watching Chit Chat right here on White Wave TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philin Jean, and I'm hanging out with Ernest Bantu and Ronald Royce. The hashtag is Chit Chat. You can talk to us on our various <coughs> social media pages. Now, we have a new story, another story rather, and a video is making rounds on social media of a Kenyan high school student um, vibing to Kenyan drill music in their dormitory. Now, it's still not clear where the TV came from and where they got the phone to record themselves from or even which school the video is from but social media users had mixed reactions over the video with some saying it's okay for them to kill boredom while some thought a tv was a distraction from them focusing on what's important we have a video <laughs> <laughs> See, people have freedom nowadays. I don't know what is happening. Like, but uh, honestly speaking, mm -hmm. like, what, what, what's your take? What could you sour because it's their free time? Ama they should be studying. Ama, what is sour according to me? I want to sour. Yeah, I want to sour. Ah, bro. <coughs> what a fuck sour? You advocate for them? No, eh, shule jo mu manze. Okay, scare, scare, scare. Just one, one coming. See, they say, um, too much work. all work without play mm. makes Jack a dull boy. Mm. Zi, but too much of freedom. Mm -hmm. See, poa, ata mtoi yu kim, kimlea na too much freedom. Ana kwa angadu mtu useless kwa society. Najua, too much freedom pia ikuangi poa. See, uko la nata tukisoma, tulikuwa tunawana TV, ni kama tuna... Yes, kwa mefungwa TV ni special day. Mutawana nena mjumu, mutawana lini tena. As in, lakini shule likuja kufana nini? Kusoma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kwenye kuna TV, tunafunga chuenda kwenye, fungua TV, ona kwenye unataka kuona mtawa, kirudi shule, soma. So, hii ni kama kuchukua shule, like, place ya entertainment, place ya nini. Awata soma, za so, unangoja hea hapo. Unangoja graduate tuko mbuna huyo. Na kama anataka kuwa msaini anataka kuimba drill anataka kuwa kaska mkadinai ska ni graduate <laughs> so ska ni soma ska ni soma ndi after shule mm -hmm. akaona let me do this mm -hmm. ama hizo vitu watu wanadu kampo ukishafika campus una unaweza lakini high school ah high school tremia na wadanganya bana <laughs> <laughs> high school bana bana wazee fuck soma hapo ile hardship mzazi ana go through kuweka shule inafaa ndo fikirie kabla udu hizo vitu jo so many to shulen kwa kusoma according to me you know shulen kwa kusoma just soma manzi ah uh, wewe kama msanii ronald yeah, you are a, a rapper you are a rapper do you think ungeacha uanze mapema uko high school sasa ungekuwa mbele ama in fact it's feeling uh, siko baya but you know uh, talent is something we are supposed to nurture from when you're young right mm -hmm. so back in high school i know as much as we had the 844 education system um, it used to teach us on how we are going to be employed. Now we have the CBC system that is t uh, trying to nurture us with our own talents. So according to me, e story enye, uh, the high schoolers, Mokona TV, manze, you guys are privileged. Sisi yo kitu kwa naona. Uliko naona tu TV kwa gazeti. Na gazeti uliko naona ni ya mwalimu. There was no day uliko naona evil. So right now if I told this is for killing a boredom, awesome. You guys kill it. Now the other thing is, Kila kitu inafai kwa na limit. Don't overdo it. Kama ni TV, maze uwochini TV kifika sa class, ishieni. But then again, I don't know which school it is, the way you are asking. Yeah. And also, how the TV got itself <laughs> in the dormitory. In the dorm. <laughs> na simu, ya kureko, <laughs> kuzo, <laughs> wana pause, wako tuiza hapa. Me, so, me, kila mwanda wakutokea kwa shorts, <laughs> you know. Si, si tunaza kumbuka when we are going back to school, <laughs> them days, <laughs> my friend. Una uma uma usakusuliwa kila kitu like uliko naenda pale una step naked everything wanaangalia each and every detail hata chumvi kuko naenda sanduku yako ilikuwa inafunguliwa kila kitu wanaangalia vitu umekuja nazo exactly zinabaki kwa gate mimi nilikuwa na ka 3310 by then nilikuwa tulikuwa na mama mshipi za bacon kubwa unakasunda hapo kuna kuangalia hapa sasa unakasu lakini ni simu tu sasa tv iliingia hiyo simu bado ilifanya kidogo nili it didn't affect. I'll tell you. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you.
and Master Walk on and a watch. Prince Pong sign him to Langata. And I watch any MP, I go. I like Prince Walking in the last. I am Piwaki Beer and Mister. I like Liqua Moja, Kibira by then to say my Liqua Moja. Say any Prince Endo and Piwaki Beer. Principal Long, so as I had a education. So, if you have a TV, you can see it. So, TV, TV, no feature. Yeah, TV, I, I don't know when you're in here, like you know, you're going to go on a staff. I'm only by staff room. Like, it's a staff room, this is not going to be my well dealer. Do you know, Pale View are people from different backgrounds? Yeah. Different characters, different thinking. Apo kuna concussion ya all types of people in this world. Okay, ni Kenya, unajua pia na fao. Tuna kufanyanga vitu pia according to what walikuwa before. Kunda kwa msanisa. Ni msani mgani Kenya alianza hizo ujinga na sahini msani successful. Mwana dhani kileptomenex, wakona ilo kileptomenex ya nini? They are graduates, wakina nyashu wa mesoma mbaka ya campus. Kwa jina ilitoka hapi. Anyhow, but for real, what do we assume? What do we assume? No, come on, let's join. Should we go any now? You can just let us know. I put you a comment section on Facebook. Let us know which school is that, and then maybe we'll reach out to go like. No, no, what you two five four go answer? Eh? What do you mean? What do you mean? Eh? You want to go now? What you two five four? You want to say me? Shout out to them, like in 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 your dog, but. I don't want to do it. It's killing bottom because. The other time, mm -hmm. school but, motto was school motto, literally. Mm -hmm. uh, at least now it's killing the boredom and all this. <laughs> 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 Alright, now let's have another story. And comedian Oga Obina has wow. come out to defend himself against claims posted on social media by his ex-wife and the mother of his children. Now, in a screenshot of a uh, shared on socials, his baby mama accused him of being an irresponsible father and a narcissist. Since they co-parent and the kids spent um, of, they spend the weekend at Obina's place, she accused him of letting the kids go to school with either dirty uniforms or called uniforms that are not dry. In his defense, Obina said that he didn't want to wash his daddy laundry in public, but all accusations are false and that those close to him know the truth. Let's have a look at the video. So I decided yesterday, I said I was not going to talk about it. A lot of uh, bloggers da, 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 called me. Yeah. Give us your side of the story. I was like, no, no, no. I'm not going to do it for the wellness of the kids. Yeah. And it is okay. Let me get all the beating and the whooping so that it slides. Mm -hmm. However, when I woke up today morning, I even didn't go through those other comments. I didn't go. I uh. that Niko Kila Mahali. Yeah. Na tukano na wa mama. Buddha. Na wababa wengine na vijana na watu. Everybody who was not in this setup. But there is a mubaba, you cannot be in the comment section of a gossip yeah, blog. Yeah, so I'm like, there's a lot of people who don't know me. And there's a lot of people who don't know her and a lot of people who don't know us. Yeah. And everything that happened. But the people close to us know. Mm -hmm. The people that I've spoken with before everything or when everything. I've spoken to you, I've spoken to Buddha. a couple of important people. Yes. Until I decided, let me take the high road and keep quiet. And I said, I will never, ever, ever, ever fight with my baby mama in public. All right. So, I don't know. Like, you see... But co-parenting is not easy. That's all I, all I mean to say. And for those who don't know co-parenting, things don't work out. You go your separate ways, but you have kids. So probably within during the week, alafu weekend, they spend at their dad's place. So that's what's happening with Ogaubina. So who do you think is uh, telling the truth? Do you want to post these screenshots? Do you want to post these screenshots? 
ana wabai na don naambia madha yenu ni mbaya sasa kirudi ona mimi madha yenu ni mbaya but you know there's just accusations it's allegedly that's what she allegedly said and she was sharing screenshots wakita na maneno kubwa kubwa when I'm be aware we need you we need me so i don't know is it okay for you to be sharing that on social media with people ama ni ile she doesn't have a voice now go bina unajua yeah akona platform akiongea ude matasikika so she just thought the only way is to prove by sharing screenshots i don't know okay let me tell you something uh, i think comparative when you may say it's always hard yeah it's not easy uh, and um, the good thing is both parents are taking uh, responsibility Now the best part is uh umto hii akito hao toi wakitoka shule wanapita kwa nani wanaenda kwa baba yao Now what I don't understand if wakienda kwa baba yao wanaenda <laughs> bila manguo za kuchange because I don't understand if hao toi wakirudi uh, kwa mama yao Sunday mm-hmm. wanakuja na uniform <laughs> zizi mosho na baridi haya and kachi vimepotea sijui gloves zimepotea mm-hmm. nini kia tumoja ana so it's like Ogaubina is not responsible when it comes to the, 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 the day-to-day care of the kids. For example, yeah, that's what she was saying. For example, uh, kiatu mepotea anunwe zingine. Mm-hmm. Anika chifana aba ingine. So okay, Obina yeah. is like venye mulikuja ndo venye mtarudi. Ama <laughs> murudi halfway. <laughs> that's what was like I'm getting tired of buying handkerchiefs every week and <clears throat> gloves. Wakirudi buy gloves buy handkerchiefs. Zikienda zimepotea. Yeah. Tena buy. So she's like mimi hamtanifanyisha monkey like just be responsible. <laughs> okay? <laughs> How much is an handkerchief? Wako bina mazusi usi tuchome like, mazi. Like see hivyo. Mm-hmm. Mimi mjika udema naongea uongo ama ukweli. Hiyo mm-hmm. ndio kitu moja nafaa mu realize. Unajua ukiacha tu demo kuna kale ka feeling mm. alafu ume move on na bado you are doing good unajua kuna ile bado demo nasikia i wish i was there mm. i wish kuna hizo vitu so kuna venye anataka ku haikuangi haikuwa yeye nangi poa na mababi mama yeye nangi wait so unataka kusema old demo she's, she's, she's bitter because she's not yeah. doing well in life ah uh-uh, she's bitter because waliachana na obina na obina bado ana do good so what them i do good in life Yeah, obvious that kind of do good and do good kushinda ubina maybe age because she's not famous like it's coaching ya mind how do you know sijui kwa moyo yona najua sina na vitu kwa yetu moyo yona una 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 za na dem sorry una kwa na dem unapata mtu hii mnaachana dem anapata successful life but bado una struggle unajua huyo dem anakubebanga aje ni mimi angalieni venye kasi mimi angalie mimi mnasema mimi ni mbaya one najui ni siku ijafika wale kila mtu siku yake ya success ni siku yako maybe ime delay kidogo yake imefika but naona nyara watu wakiangalia wanasema by then uko na siku alikuwa amolewa alikuwa anadikwa alikuwa angalia saa hii watu wataanza kusema hivyo like na wanga hivyo so mimi na mimi najua hizi story juu nimeziona all around anesa you let me add something on top anesa is really saying the truth because itapata at times kama unangara and then dem atanza kama si mimi angekuwa na ngara nilipo dakiwa chokora sasa ona mm-hmm. and only roles are reversed so men don't say that about women no 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 we never say that about women because <laughs> we have a lot to take care of i'm gonna shut up to get you by the way niliona he's having a divorce party you didn't see him <laughs> t- say that si niliona akisema kama si mimi nilikuwa namfanyia hivi why do you say men don't say that and we saw him say that like mimi ndo nilikuwa nimeweka kwa hiyo life acha tuone sasa hivi latasubuka na i see apo sawa kuna men wanasema hivyo but ina depend unajua ukiishi na mtu unajua kuna siku na madem tu wamekaa wanaleta wanga kila kitu si ndio mm-hmm. as in uende umpe kila kitu mvalishe umleni wanajiita housewife mm-hmm. kazi yao ni kukufulia mm-hmm. kukupikia kukuoshea crib na kukuongezea idadi ya familia kwa mm-hmm. nyumba hiyo mm-hmm. ndio kazi wanafanyanga so una mtu kama huyo mimi naweza sema kama si mimi mm-hmm. yako kuwa hivyo yeah. but wale ule dem mwenye anatoka unatoka mna share dreams mavai unasema kitu kama hiyo let me get this straight mm-hmm. you think being a housewife is si kazi ya maana ni kazi ya maana but mm-hmm. si kazi ya kusema kama si mimi housewife afa kusema kitu kama hiyo kwa mdomo yake as long as when housewife kitu yote no, kama si mimi toa kwa mdomo yake let me tell you so not adding anything to that marriage except population no 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 i know i'm not supposed to say but, but let me just disagree with you actually housewives do a lot because yeah. mm-hmm. first of all they wake up in the morning prepare the kids for school wao peleke shule unaona mbona akiwa kazi wanatafutanga msana wa kazi wao na wake wenye wako job na wana mahali sasa nakwambia anatafutanga kwa hivyo wanafanya anatafutanga msana wa kazi because they have to prepare maybe the husband and the kids to go to school wao make sure vyombo vimeoshwa nyumba imeoshwa wao shika ushaona mabachi la vile wanakanga kwa nyumba ile uka najua 
it's so, we shouldn't undermine them. I think it's a work on its own. Nikazi, lakini si yo kazi venye unaongeza. Wewe unaongeza ikaika kazi kazi extra. Yeah, ni kazi zazi. But kitu unaangalia ni watoto. Si mimi. Unajua umesema watu prepare the husband and the kids. Who is preparing me? You can how can you prepare me? Yo sasa kukupigia pasi probably kuna watu breakfast to make sure imepikwa. Unajua nini? So you have to do something that <laughs> I can't do. <laughs> you so can do that. Kids cannot do that. That's why you're preparing kids. <laughs> uh, okay, now I get his point. You, you are now siding with Oga Obina. Because ako peke yake mtoto tu aende shule bila anika chief. Bila socks moja. Kenye nasema ni Obina hezi fanya hivyo. This girl is lying. That's my point. Oh, your point is yeye anadanganya. Anadanganya. Hata mimi mwenyewe hata kama ukae na mtoi wako. Mimi na roga ukitoka job feeling ukuje ukuletu mtoi wako ni mchafu. Uweza vuruga mama yake vibaya sana si mama yake amemchafua. Unaona si mtu yeye anakaje? Una hadi una Obi na hezi kwa analeta tu mtu hii shule hapana wanaume. Ah ah. Mama ni muongo. Okay, so we gonna move by there's a way he's contradicting himself. Amesema hiyo kitoka kazi, alipata mtu anemchafua atakuja kuruga. Mama. But at the same time amesema housewife hakuna kazi ufanya. But unataka upate mtu ni msafi. Unajua nini? Anyway, story kwa mdomo yangu ni anafanyanga kazi lakini si hivyo venye nyinyi mna make akaya ati kazi ya maana. Ni kazi ya maana. Ni kazi ya maana. Kazi ya maana. Ni ya maana kuniongezea population ya nyumba ya kaya. Ya adding population ya. Wewe hebu ngoje wewe utoke umeenda job kirudi jioni upate nyumba ni chafu. Utaona kazi yake? Nyumba ni chafu. Yes. Na mbona unanipanga msichana wa kazi kama yeah, bibi anaenda kazi? Acha nikwambie ile kitu bibi ananisaidia nayo yeah. kama ni housewife yeah. ni kuzaa juu siwezi jizalisha. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, najua yeah. kuosha, najua kufua. It's seven, it's seven. Unajua wanaume wanapiga mpiga cheo na kaa chini wanafanya hivi. Wewe unaona? Ni juu hiyo ndo sasa kazi anafanya in the meantime jo ako I do lama yeah. like ni bachelor anyway we move from this story <laughs> if you move on this story <laughs> mimi nimepiga feeling sikia 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 fanya hivyo we move to the other story because <laughs> At the same time we just want the welfare of the kids. Yes, Ogo yes. does not yeah. matter the wife ex wife does not matter. matter yeah. It's all about the children. So I just hope they take care of their children mm -hmm. better. Now this story what is social media because these kids are growing mm -hmm. and they'll have it's friends. They have people who will see all these and it's yeah. not necessary. It's not okay, right? Mm -hmm. So we move to our last story and it's actually very sad because a Kenyan woman now a Kenyan woman rather living in uh, Toronto, Canada drowned in a pool while she was relaxing after work while uh, broadcasting live on Facebook. In the video which has now gone viral, Helen Wendy appears to be in high spirits as she swims from one side of the pool to the other, re regularly responding to comments on her live stream chat. Based on her profile, she was working in Canada as a nurse. And of course, our condolences go out to the family, his friends and family and colleagues as well who, you know, knew her personally. And the dad spoke today and he was very sad, speaking a like people should come in and help him uh, to bring the daughter home for burial because the daughter was the breadwinner of the family. She was just 24 years of age and she was working at Kileta Do home and while uh, you know paying her own school fees uh, in Canada. So it's very sad. But we have a video. Let's have a look.
<sighs> man, it's so sad. Like, you just wake up in the morning, go to work, come home, you just want to relax and wind, and then that happens to you. It is so sad, really. And I really feel for the family because she was just making something out of her life, genuinely with her life, and then that happened. I don't know where that pool is, but don't they have, like, uh, the life, lifeguards? Because the, your video is stream for three hours, yeah. and the people that found her came three hours later. Three hours! That's the first even the time other people came to the pool. So there was no lifeguard, there was no one else at the pool. I don't know, like, as G, maybe ni place alikuwa naishi, she was home early before anyone else. Like, I really have no idea, but it's really, it's really painful. What's your take? Oh, uh, feeling. Um, Mimi, Majila, and Zengia, Zidia Karai, Zengi. And then also an <laughs> advice, to, <laughs> an advice to most of us: hmm? never get to the pool if you don't have anyone next around to you. you exactly. Right? Yeah. That is, uh, it's gonna be catastrophic because you never know. At times, I remember back then, to go to the pool, when she was muscle pool. Yes. Yes. Probably that's what happened to My her. Act, yeah. Exactly. So when she was muscle pool, you can never move. You are always rendered immobile. So mm -hmm. I'm just asking, whoever or wherever you're going to swim, must they make sure you have a friend or you have someone else? Or come akuna, put on the life jackets. You are going to be good. All right, now, uh, what's your take? Do you think, because she came to Kenya, she, she's from Kenya, and then she went to study abroad, obviously. So do you think we need to now start having swimming Lessons, lessons in school, right? Kila shule na fai kuena pool probably that is guarded. Mm -hmm. He should have rails or something. Do atoto was the end time. They they don't have like um, an adult looking uh, after them and stuff. But do you think like it's something we should consider like in yeah, lazima, lazima in our schools? Lazima tu fanya ivo. Ama ada si lazima kitu juu ya chana. But you know, it doesn't have to be a pool. In a home, na home, like mm -hmm. it rained, it rained and there's an uh -huh. overflow, like there's an overflow of water, like Kwanjia or something. Yeah, exactly. It's important to kujifunza. Kujua rugu swing at some point. Ineza kuku idea. V2 happen. Neza in a pala coast, it's like, okay, number no, is fanyike. Uskia ferry me drown, nini. Apa urupak, unajibamba, au wawa kamaji. Neza kufia na iye urupak. Plezi na maji mingi, so ukijua kuswimu na jisaidia pia. Nipua kwa na klase, so asewa juwe ku, yeah. kuswimu. Kama ujue kuswimu, jifunze. Right. Kwa kusema jompia na ibikanga, mini mkubu wa jona ambuwa zijue kuswimu. There's no shame. There's, There's no shame. shame in learning. There's no shame in learning. Mm. Like, mimi kwanza hata, mimi wezi ni embaras. Nikifanya kitu hata kaya, like, I fake kifanyo hivyo, and then you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, show me. Yeah, tell so me. So the next time is to embarrass, like, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> but it's so sad what happened to her, though. Like, we're praying for the family that they might find peace. Mm -hmm. And kindly, like, uh, when the dad, like, the dad spoke, like, if you're in a position to help, kindly just, like, you know, be sure to donate some yeah. funds towards mm -hmm. the family so they can be able to bring <coughs> yeah. Helen, Helen back home, right? Mm -hmm. May she rest in peace. And of course, on that note, we'll sample some of the comments you guys have left us on our socials. And <laughs> right now, I'm going to start with uh, Anes. Do you have any salams, any shout outs? Yeah, I'm going to talk to my Okay, the obvious, my princess Chelsea, na salimia sana. Samantha, Mali Uko, Salimika, Jackie, Salimika. Wase wote wangufu, Biki Spice Kenya, Mali Uko, Salimika, na wase wote wanamijua. One love. All right. Ronald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have a couple of guys here. Uh, Victor, Kama Kawida is always lock, uh, locked. No, it's always rocked. <laughs> That's what we say on rock tour, by the way. On our oh, rock show, okay. we say so we're rocked. Ah, I'm good. Good to say. Ah, to go na Caleb. Mazi, thanks, thanks. Caleb here and Kwanga Tune. Masiketa. I um, and then I can see she's written something here that uh, my son says is high. That is Raylan. Mm -hmm. And also uh, the last person here is Zadi. Thanks so much, Mazi. Always Hi. keep it. Shout out to Zadi, shout out to Masiketa, she's always tuned in. A big shout out to you. All right, let's do this. Um, on, uh, on our Twitter page, not Twitter actually, that's on our Facebook. Let's shout out some guys. We have BTF Babu and some MK2 Records Locks. Thank you so much. We have Testa Band KE live with my producer, Mavo. Shout out to Mavo and shout out to you, Testa Band. Nak Naks, what's up? And as well, feeling I like your RP. Thank you so much uh, for being here always. Frank Jukes Daily on some I am in. 
or uh, although I'm so much at wezi kwa sababu kusema comment yako bro unaja vile tunakupenda sana we love you so much thank jukes mad love to you shout out to you we have jose joseph tune in from 003 thank you for a for right you are following from kitengela big shout out to you ras bashiri where i will see you are tuning from uh, uh for jesus busia thank you kevo katanza lai takwaje unasema ara katanza marsi ni locked mbaya ni kevo katanza lai we have domi sweden what's up we are locked at ameru we love all our american thank you we have uh Guba Mali you and some breaking Casimiro has retired from winning trophies <laughs> okay and champion my lakers mubabas ai mubabas ala you been claimed on national tv <laughs> malik <laughs> malik maina ah uh, feeling oh ati nitembe ghetto nitakuja utanipeleka ghetto sio yeah yeah nakuja malik maina na tuanze na ghetto ya wapi lazima wanzie one 11 Bro na afu kibera na mwok amna um, kibera muenda mara mingi sana kibera muenda kayole anaishi huko anaishi huko kayole kayole sasa eh anaishi kama ungebeze mkuru eh mkuru ni shayenda kayaba mkuru ya jenga na ruben standa why not standa Dandora ni shayenda ni shayenda shara tu Janet Janet alimpeleka Dandora bro walai Ibra ni aje Ibra kibra na sama bantu ako tu sawa hata mimi ningezidi nazo hiyo do Peter Kinaro kijana mu digital na sama brother with you all right thank you so much so i'm just going to mention names because of time Gloria Mude we see you thank you James Kirimi we have uh Suarez Mrevi thank you Max Ras Mondoza thank you Nation Simi we have Kiprono Kelvin Tunayo KE thank you Mr Waziri Demi Kez Page Jacob Mugaragana thank you Sunboy KE Anthony Murigi we have Lemmy Rans you're watching from Kirinyaga thank you so much I appreciate each and every one of you anyone that is tuned in on the show unajo we love you so much and of course we wish you an amazing week ahead shout out to Munga right here with us in studio we have our we have Rose we have Edna thank you so much we have Oriel we have Yvonne thank you so much for holding us down on a sunday sio mbinga si rahisi kufanya kazi on a sunday si rahisi all right mood. i know but uh, as the way, new week begins we just want to wish you guys an amazing week ahead and of course let's maintain that peace we have right now your peace to enjoy sai kizidi tu hivyo sio siko opek one love one love one love one love <laughs> tunawapenda thank you bye We love you 100.01%. Mm. <laughs>